Hello my art loving friends! I am traveling but only for two days and I wanted to show you what I might be bringing with me. Actually, it's definitely what I'll be bringing with me. So the town I am traveling to is only about three hours away and I am honestly not sure if I will even have time to do any artwork. But you never know because what we are doing is closing on a house. Well, my son and his wife are closing on a house actually and you never know if we're gonna have wait time and all of that so I am bringing a few things to keep me company just in case. You guys know I travel a lot and I have shown you several travel videos so I will link that playlist over in the corner and then the description box below. But for this one, because I'm not even sure I'm gonna have time, I also know it could be at a moment's notice that I might have 10 or 15 minutes. So we're going really simple. And simple is this. <laughs> This is the Kiritaki Gonsai Tombi portable paint set. And if you hear noise in the background, I am puppy sitting my husband's puppy while he is at the Baja 500 for five days. So puppy has to travel with me too. This should be interesting. He's growling at the cat toy. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> All right, back to the paint set. Ta-da. So these aren't traditional watercolors, at least that's what I keep hearing. Oh, hello, the puppy is visiting me here in my lap. You wanna see him? I don't know if you can see him. There he is. I'm gonna eat the paint set. <laughs> All right, go play, go play. I love you. He's so cute. He's the best puppy ever. Anyway, oh, he just bonked his head trying to get up here. That's funny. Maybe he'll calm down now that he gave himself a concussion. No, he's fine. Okay, back to this. As I was saying, people say these aren't like traditional watercolors. They are the Japanese type of watercolors. So people say they're more like gouache, but I love them. But you can see because I live in Colorado and travel in Utah most of the time when we travel. Very dry locations, and these are very dry in their little pans. <laughs> However, that doesn't affect them much, and the reason that I had the rubber band around this when I first started was because I added stuff to this that makes this a little reluctant to close. I mean, it's doing a pretty good job right now, but I like to be safe. So it came with this water brush and this fine liner. This is a 01, I believe. I still haven't replaced it. I know I keep telling you guys, I'm gonna replace it with like a 05 because that's what I use the most of, but this one seems okay so far. So maybe I'll use it up, who knows? So it came with those two, and of course it's nice and flat with just those two, and my swatch sheet can even go in there and it shuts just nicely, but I did put my favorite Faber-Castell 0.5 mechanical pencil in there, and that kind of just stressed how well it closes, so I was playing it safe with the rubber band. Anyway, it was kind of ironic because I kept looking for this like, where is my pencil? I can't find my favorite pencil over and over again. Finally, I did realize that I had put it in here and just never went and grabbed it. But there you have it. And the reason I like this one so much, and it's not a big deal in this case because it's a nice hard plastic case, but when you have these out here and you push it back in, it retracts completely and you're left with just this blunt edge. If I show you this one, this is retracted completely and there's still this very sharp metal point right there. So look at the difference. These are both fully retracted. Okay, so this will poke through bags and purses. This will not. So I use this one here in the studio all the time, but this one is my travel go-to. Like I said, not so important in this hard case, but it also has a slim profile. Like look how fat the one I use in the studio is compared to the one that I travel with. So I really like it. And really the only reason that I grabbed this set is because it has the space for the water brush and the fine liner, and I don't have to carry extra water or an extra water container because I will just use the water brush. And if you only have a few minutes to paint, this will allow you to do that. If you have to get a water container out and pour water and have a place to set the water, that does restrict how much time you feel like you can do a painting when you have very little time. So say you have 10 free minutes that you're waiting before you can get into your appointment or whatever, this is so easy to pull out. I wouldn't necessarily need the rubber band back on it, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on it because I'm just gonna pack this to travel right now. And I do pack it in a Ziploc. Usually when I take my stuff like this, it's because we are out in our four-wheeling rigs and a lot of dust and dirt. So I always try and pack things like this in Ziplocs. Not so important that because this one's in a plastic case, it's just a nice way to contain it, I guess. I don't know, it's just something I do. Plus you have an extra Ziploc if you need it for something, right? And then I'll grab this because it's nice and small also. 
This is the Etcher A6 size 100% cotton sketchbook and I have taken this on several trips. You can see I started it in August of 2020. I don't use this one very much because it is so small. I actually prefer the A5 size for most of the stuff that I like to do when I travel. However, I've used this for a trip I did up in Lead King Basin. I took some pictures and I did this in my camper one night, like in the middle of the night. All of this is on my channel. This I did in Moab, this is King Creek. We had a truck that was traveling with us break down on the trail and so it took about, oh I don't know, 45 minutes to get him fixed and up and running again. So I just sat down on a rock and painted what I saw really quickly. And then I took a picture while we were at that same trip and painted this later. I don't know if that was in the camper or in the studio later. I think it might be in the studio. And this, we were up at the cabin. My dad was in the mini excavator and I just tried to paint him while he was moving dirt around and dirt was flying in my face and there was like a bee and oh, it was kind of a mess. So I think the name of that video was called painting with dirt or painting in the dirt, something like that. Then we skip almost an entire year. So you can see that's October of 20. This is September of 21. So I did not use this sketchbook for nearly an entire year. It's just so small. I, like I said, I prefer the A5 size, yet this one's so cute. <laughs> but I brought this sketchbook and the micro portable painter. I've shown that many times on my channel and you can see it in my palette tour for sure. And just went behind our camper and painted the lake and some of the scenery. It was a super fast sketch and pretty hot sunshine and it was fun. And then I painted this also at Flaming Gorge. But then we went to Moab again and we were eating lunch and these were some of the people that were on the trail with us and they were just sitting there for a long time. Uh, excuse me, everyone was just chatting and so I kind of painted them. Uh, painting people in like five minutes is not my strong suit but it was fun, I enjoyed trying it. And this is the leaf I just showed you guys in the last video. Ow, ow, puppy's biting my toe. <laughs> You little stinker. So that was the next month. And then a couple days later, I had these really cool aqua ink metallics. And so I painted these balloons. And then we moved to the last video I showed you where I was trying all those, that three hours straight of painting class 101 by painting Hyun. And this was the wet on dry exercise that I totally failed. Oh, she did comment back you guys, but I don't have time to stick that in this video, but I'll, I'll show you guys what she said on Tuesday's videos. So make sure you're subscribed with your notifications on so you don't miss that. So you can see we skipped from October of 2021 to May of 22. That looks like a three, so I should definitely make that look more like a two, huh? Yeah, we did not paint that in 2023. Anyway, so this is the sketchbook that I'm bringing. And you can see right here, I did notice when I was doing these balloons that it's kind of falling apart right there. So I don't know if that is going to be a problem or not, but I will keep using it and find out. It looks like if so, it's only gonna be on this signature right there. So I guess they're called signatures. I don't know. I only know what I learned on the internet, right? <laughs> Just kidding. Well, not really. Ow, don't bite my toe, dude. <laughs> so alternatively to this, I often bring this Himi Mia palette. This is the one that I'm still trying to use up and guys, I have used this so much. In fact, I will try and give you an update on this next week or the week after, but you can see how much paint is still left and oh my goodness, I have used this a lot. So sometimes I bring this palette because I wanna try and use it up and see how long it takes. An entire lifetime, apparently. However, if I take this, I would also need a separate place for a water brush or like my whole paint kit here. And this is what I bring to watercolor class. Ow, the puppy bit my toe again. <laughs> This is what I bring to what? How? Hey, to watercolor class again. Oh goody! Finally found his chew. Maybe my toes will be safe. Nope. Ow! They're not safe. Okay. I have no idea where we were, but yes, this is the stuff I take to my watercolor class when I go leave the house. Usually twice a week to teach that. Although right now it's only once a week. So the disadvantage of bringing an extra little palette like this that doesn't have the extra slot for the water brushes that I would have to attach some kind of water brush to it. And since I attach my swatch sheet to this to cover this part of the palette anyway, it wouldn't be a big deal. I could just slide a water brush under here. That is an alternative. Anyway, so I like to stick this one in a Ziploc bag no matter what, because A, <laughs> the cover is basically linen or canvas. 
and so it gets dirty really easily. B, it's a sketchbook, and if any water gets on it, then it will ruin it, not to mention the watercolor paintings inside. And C, it just gives me peace of mind regardless. So these do fit in one Ziploc together, except not very well. You can see that it will be really tight to close, and then they're stacked, so yeah, I didn't even get it closed. And the bag that I usually travel with when we're out four-wheeling is this one here. Let me zoom out. Okay, and I usually put my water bottle here and uh, two hot cups and some snacks. So I have a hot cup with coffee, a hot cup with tea, <laughs> and my big insulated water bottle. And so the place that I have for putting my painting supplies is this, and it's pretty thin and like narrow. What do you want to call that? I don't know. It, it's thin and narrow. So having these in separate bags allows me to put one there and one there and they stay nice and flat because they're not stacked so when that is all full of stuff they are very slim. Alright guys that is everything I am taking with me on this particular very short trip and it should be everything that I might possibly need for painting out and about and I'm quite happy to have it all. By the way when I use all of this paint up I will refill these with more professional grade paint, I guess, if you will, like my Daniel Smith or, I don't know, whatever I have in tubes because these pans are actually quite special. If I take them out and hold them, see they fall out. Anyway, these pans are quite special. They clip in here very specifically with these weird clip systems. And so <laughs> you have to fill them up. You cannot just buy replacement pans for these. You actually have to squeeze to paint into them. However, as long as it's taking me to use this one up, <laughs> I'll probably never use these up and never get to refill them, but that's okay. The paint is fun and I enjoy using it. Yeah, both of these are done with the Kuretake paint, and so is that one. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have fun if you're traveling this weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, you guys, I have such good videos coming up, so if you are new, consider subscribing because yeah, some serious fun stuff coming up. All right, see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye for now. Hey, don't eat my bag. Hey. Then we, excuse me, growly dog. We're trying to make a video here. <laughs> He's trying to get my Aussie to play. My Aussie is not convinced. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey. I brought him to see his siblings today. He has four siblings left over there at the ranch and <laughs> They played, but apparently not enough. And C, it just, there's no C. It should be everything I could possibly need for it. And ow, the stupid puppy is bothering my foot. <laughs> Dog, let go of my pants. <laughs> always hide under your step all the other stuff. <laughs> He's got a little loose. Growls! I heard a growl! I can't keep any. I got my hands full of Abby. What are you doing? Then we had to cut. She has very... She because we got the clippers out, and she freaked. And she doesn't freak about anything, because <laughs> she does not like clippers. Yeah. So we had to use scissors. But now she knows. <laughs> well, we've been trying to let her off the leash on our walk, but then mm -hmm. if there's something, she'll go after it.